In this video, we are going to explore the New Relic JSON dashboard Terraform resource. This resource type allows you to configure your New Relic dashboards in Terraform using simple JSON templates rather than the more complicated HCL based resources. This drastically simplifies the creation and more importantly the ongoing maintenance of your dashboards as you no longer have to maintain complicated layouts. As a bonus, you also benefit from being able to use all the existing and future extended dashboard features, such as colouring and data formatting. You don't have to wait for the provider to be updated anymore. So let's get started. Here's a simple dashboard with a handful of widgets. I'm going to click this icon to copy the JSON configuration of this dashboard to clipboard. Here I've got a blank Terraform project. You can see I've already set up the provider and it's initialized. You need to be using provider version 3.4 or above to access this new resource type. So let's paste the JSON in the clipboard to a new file. We'll call it dashboard.json and I've put it in the dashboards folder. We'll also rename the dashboard here. Right, now we'll grab the Terraform code that we need. Let's find it in the documentation. You need the new Relic 1 dashboard JSON resource. As you can see, there isn't much to it. We'll copy and paste this in and adjust the file path accordingly. Now, as a bit of best practice, let's ensure we tag this dashboard so we can tell it's managed by Terraform. Finally, I'm going to output the permalink for the created dashboard so that we can easily find it. Right, let's apply that. Once it's applied, we can use this link to go straight to the dashboard. Brilliant, well that was easy. So the real power here comes when you want to update, especially if you want to rearrange the layout or add new widgets. Using other resources, this is a bit of a nightmare as you have to manually recalculate all the columns and rows. But with JSON based dashboards, we simply need to make the changes in the UI, copy to JSON and update our template. See how quick that was to update our layout and get those updates into Terraform. OK. So now we have JSON dashboards, we can also do some more interesting things using the Terraform templating engine. This allows us to generate dashboard data. Take this dashboard for example. Here we show a number of widgets showing data for a specific API, in this case Amazon's. I've taken the JSON file and added an iterator to iterate over a configuration object, a list of APIs that we're interested in. We have to add a little jiggery pokery here to calculate the row count for each entry in the config. You can see here that the NLQL WHERE clause has the domain value from the configuration interpolated. That's more or less it. We load the template using the template file function and pass in our data. In this case, the config variable contains a map of entries. Let's add a few more entries to our dashboard. I'll now apply these changes and let's see what we get. And there you have it, a generated dashboard that's easy for anyone to extend with just the simplest configuration change. I absolutely love this new Terraform resource. I really think it will transform how you manage new Reddit dashboards at scale. It offers you all the features of dashboards and makes maintaining your dashboards so much easier than ever before. As ever, you can find the links to examples and more information in the description on this video. Thanks for watching.